Hello there, my lovelies. Nice, easy peasy one for you today. Because we've done something similar in the previous signature for a start off. Right. Okay. So, I'm using um, two pieces of music paper. You could use digital paper, newspaper prints, picture from a book, whatever you say wish, but you need two. And they need to be cut to the same size and they need to be cut smaller than your um, page of your signature. All right. Because what we're going to do is going to join these two together and then cut them down the middle. So in fact, let me just show you this bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap around this round here when it's folded in half so can you see that by the time they're joined together they are small oh, sorry you can't see <laughs> I can see but you can't so they're smaller than the actual page height and they're smaller than the page width as well when they're folded in half right we take those out of there for now <clears throat> my blade gets a little bit funny it's a little bit funny this feeling inside okay when it has to cut through old paper it goes oh no i can't do that oh beyond my capabilities is that cutting through old paper I'm just making sure that they're lined up. Right, I'm going to start in the middle and cut. Oh, no, it's not liking it, it's snagging. So I'm just going to mark it. I think it's probably the safer way to do it. I'll cut it with my. I'll cut it by hand. Where's my ruler go? Where's my pencil gone? There we go. Right, I am going to cut down there. <coughs> I has a frog in my throat. I'm going to cut down there to cut off that snuggy end. All right. Need a steady hand to do this. Okay, let's go, Carol. Let's go. Because we're cutting through two pieces of paper and they are likely to slide against each other. I'm going to do it slow. Right. And I'm going to cut this one, just trim this. I'm only trimming this little bit of excess off because it, it snagged the paper. <coughs> but normally I would only make one cut down the centre. All right. So that was easy. So we've now got our two strips and we're going to fold them in half. There. And there. And then I'm going to cut the tag shape. Which if you've got a template you can use it. I'm just going to eyeball it. Mm, like that. Then I'm going to pick up one of those pieces, flip it over. So that came from there. And I'm going to flip it over. Put it over in this corner up here. And trim off that bit. Mm. 
and I'm going to use one of those pieces for my guide on this one as well. So I'm cutting through all the layers. <coughs> so I'll keep one piece, flip it over. Line it up and then I'll cut down there. Okay. Right, so let's open one up. So I've got the two pieces now. They've sat on top of each other and they look like that. You can now glue the two pieces together by gluing just down this side and down this side to join the two together. Of course, what you could do is you could stitch them together as well. But we're only going to do the two long sides and we only want a thin line of glue. And again, this is where this metal nib comes in really handy because it does just give a thin line of glue. Just going to stick those two now together. And just whilst that's setting off, I'll do the other one. So open it up. So I've got the two on top of each other. Put my thin line of glue down one long side. Oops wobbly hand and thin line of glue on to the then stick the two together <coughs> Now I have this kind of hole punch. I know that some of you have got the cropper doll um, punchy thingy what sits, but I've got one of those. And you're also going to need the um, half inch circle punch as well. But what I did was I pulled this top, sorry, I had to shot again, pulled this top layer back and folded it back on itself just to make it a decorative entrance to the pocket. Flip it round and do the same on the other side. Okay. And then if I wanted to, I could just put a circle in there. So that I could tie some ribbon through there or some um, what's that fluffy stuff called yeah you know the one I mean <sighs> I'm getting really bad at remembering words really bad so fold those two ends back And then put my hole there and my hole there. Now, as I've already said, this is vintage paper. <clears throat> and so what will happen is if I just put um, some of that fluffy stuff that I can't remember the word, if I put some of that in there or some seam binding or some ribbon in there, it will just end up tearing the paper. You can buy ring reinforcers, but if you don't want to buy any and you have a half inch circle and a circle punch that makes a tiny one, all you need is a piece of your card. So like the, the leftover bits of your um, file folder and you do a series of these circles 
spaced roughly evenly apart. Alright, so you can see that. And then you tip your half half inch circle punch upside down and you centre, I don't know if you can see that, you centre that circle that you've cut out inside that circle punch there. And so when you punch it out, you have a, a reinforced ring. All right, so you would need one and one foot to the side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'd need eight altogether. All right, the other thing, of course, that you should do is if you want them slightly coloured, is you run your sponge over the top with some uh, of your distress ink on. make them a, a slightly darker colour and I'm going to see if I can do this like this so that you can see if this makes a difference. So I'd insert my circle punch, no you can't really see that can you because of the light. Let me bring my lamp right in. If I do that, can you see that now? How I've got that already punched out hole centred in there near enough so then I end up with a coloured reinforcer ring let me move that back so then I would place some glue on the back side of the reinforced ring and again this is where this nib comes in handy because it only wants to be a thin line of glue you don't want masses and if needs be you can use a pair of tweezers to position it but because that centre hole is the same one as we've punched on the paper then we know that it works. Of course the other thing that you could do is you could just punch out your half inch circle and I'll show you on a on a scrap piece of fabric uh, paper. Put glue on your half inch circle bit of paper. There you go. Place your half inch circle on there. And then with this is then punch a circle in the middle of that but it isn't quite so easy to see the position of where that's gonna go. So I'm pot looking. Oh not too bad actually. But it's, it's not so easy to see that centre circle. So as I say, you can stitch down the sides of these. But I would definitely put the reinforcer rings on. Um, if you're thinking of putting the, the whispery wall stuff. Oh God, I wish I could remember what things are called. And then you take it to the part of the signature that you want it to be in, which will be here. And you slide it underneath there. And then you can decorate this little flap up either with some lace or as I did in my previous one with some buttons. And we slip on the other side. Leave a little bit of a gap between the two. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And then you've got some flippy tags. And then you can put a little pocket on the back here. 
So I'll just show you the original version again. So as you can see, look, I put some buttons on here. So there's a pocket here, but I've got to be really careful because this paper is really delicate. Put the reinforced rings on either side. And then I put a little pocket on the back here. Cut out one of the images. And this actually helps to just reinforce the, the delicate music paper a little. I did the same there. And then I go to its opposite side. So I did the same again. Put some little pockets on that side. And then made some little tags inside the music paper pocket that's all there is to it so easy peasy one today have fun see you tomorrow bye